All right. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I can't react because there's peanuts in my mouth. <laughs> All right. We're... It's a bonus? No. Yep. All right. So, real quick, unboxing. This was a birthday present. I bought it on sale. But my birthday was four months ago, and it was on back order, and it just showed up. This has another box. One second. Boom. Look at that. It's a new audio, it's, it's a new mixer audio interface. It has uh, software for mixing and stuff. It's actually really, really nice. But this was, this was, I was, I was looking for, at the time, a, um, what's it called, a Go XLR? But this was actually on sale cheaper than a Go XLR was. So I got this instead. It's kind of the same thing, except for it has digital. What's the brand model? An Audient ID44. I got it because it looks like this on the front. Check it out. Let me open it up real fast. Out of the plastic. I got it because... These little buttons right here, click. And I think that's really, really cool. And all the all the hookups are back there in the back. And this is actually, it's, it's wide, so I can fit it somewhere. My mixer is tall, so it's weird. I have a clicky keyboard. But yeah, that's that's the new the new mixer I have. These things retail for like $700. I got it for three. So yeah, it's nice. I like it. $700. Yeah, that's $700 normally. I got it for three. So I picked it up. I think it's nice. So that's going to go... I, I'm doing a lot of things Wednesday. Wednesday's my next day off, which is my first day off in a hundred and like 20 days streaming. So I got some plans to do some stuff. It is an amazing sale. Three dollars? No, not three. Pro audio stuff gets crazy expensive. It does. My my microphone was my stimulus check last year. It's a thirteen hundred dollar microphone. I pretty much got it for free because I wasn't expecting a stimulus check and I got one. So I stimulated the economy with it. I did shadow fall. Custom keyboards are expensive. They are. What mic do I have? I've got, I'll show it to you real quick. I, don't, I can't show you here, but I can do here. Sennheiser. 8060? Right here. The MK8060 shotgun mic. That is it right there. Except cookies. It's only it's only about this long. It's the size of like uh, one of those fat pencils you use when you're a kid in kindergarten. It's not very big. But yeah, it's a shotgun mic. It point it points right at me. Here's the microphone right here. See it in view? It's point. It's right off screen, and it points right at me, so you guys hear me. And I can listen. I don't wear headphones. I can listen to everything you guys do and all the sounds, and you don't hear it. See, watch, watch. Um, what, real quick, I'm gonna mute the music. You guys can't hear the music, and then where do the sounds come from? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna mute that. So you can't hear anything. I'm going to not talk, and I'm going to redo the alert. You tell me if you hear it. Ready?
You barely heard it because it, it was really, really faint. That's that's one of the loudest alerts. Most of the other things you don't hear. Like right now, I, I'll mute myself or I'll mute the music. You don't hear the music? So I can I can play games and do, and do things. You guys don't hear it, but um, that's why I got it. You can't hear the music. You also can't hear the game when I'm playing it either. But the but the pretty faint. That's for like loud stuff. I can't I can't be a hundred percent. And plus all so all those noises come out of the monitor up there, and the monitor is really close to the microphone. The speaker is behind my gaming monitor. It's like three feet away from me. So it's behind the microphone enough to where it doesn't pick up. So you guys don't hear all of that. Is it worth $14.99? No. I don't think so. But I, but I bought it for $1,200. It was my stimulus check. I got it for free. That's why I got it. Because I, I, didn't, I didn't pay any money for it. I, I paid zero for it. The government bought it for me. <laughs> that's, that's the way I look at it. <clears throat> you have a mechanical keyboard. I do. I have a Corsair... Corsair Strafe RGB MK2. So yes, I've got that. Uh, but yes, I got a really cool setup. I enjoy what I have here. But yeah, I didn't pay anything for the microphone. It was it was free, so I don't have to worry about it. It was it was money. My money the money hit my account for like thirty seconds because I knew it was coming. I bought it. Um, I use I use PayPal for all of my purchases because it tracks receipts. But PayPal takes about a day or two to take it out of your account. So when, when I had the deposit pending, I bought it. And then when the deposit finally came through, PayPal took it. <laughs> so it was it was in and out. And I never had to worry about it being there. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy about my setup. The only thing I was missing was a really good audio interface. And I think that's going to complement it really well. Because I have a preamp and a noise gate over here on this side. I just needed I just needed a good audio interface for everything to roll together. And I got the VT4. I need to buy new cables for that VT4. I have a voice changer. I just don't get to use it a lot. Because it doesn't work with this uh, amp or this uh, mixer very well. I'll be, I'll be selling a mixer here soon. I got two mixers I got to sell. Both of them are Mackies. The other one went out on me or else I would still have it. It was a big one though. I bought it I bought it uh, on discount off of Amazon. Amazon Warehouse is a really good way to buy peripherals. It's just sometimes they don't last very long. All right, we're good there. That's going to be our burn. Two second burn. I'm going to cut some of these engines off since we're going to Minmus. Can you switch to another vessel by right clicking on them or do I have to use a tracking station map? You mean in, in the same instance, nipple tester? Like if you see the ship right next to you? Or do you mean in, in map mode like this? Right next to you, use the brackets. You know where your enter key is? Right above that is a slash. To the left of that are two brackets. Use those. Those swap between ships. And it's the same order. So once you once you get used to where one is, you can find the other ones pretty easily. But you can do that to any ship within a thousand or anything within a thousand meters of where you currently are. So if you have a lot of debris and stuff, you're gonna be cycling to all the debris and whatnot. All right, am I missing anything from all the redemptions and stuff? I think we're good, right? Guys, if you were gifted a sub, refresh. That way you get the ad-free viewing. Uh, take advantage of the hug emote. It's the best emote on Twitch. And thank you for sticking around and watching the stream and being supportive. And who was it they said they were interested in Kerbal? Was it Poppy? Poppy, if you're still here, man, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I have about 1,200 hours in this game. I make it a point while I'm playing to teach new players things. So if you have questions, if you need to know something or want to be shown something, I usually stop what I'm doing and show you guys. I'm all, I'm all about it. I don't mind. 
Uh, I want to turn this one off and this one off. I think I also got to take the throttle down on both of them. Here we go. Four second burn. Gonna pull the trigger on it when I get your VA stuff sorted out. In the meantime, enjoy Space Engineers. I've got about 500 hours in Space Engineers too. <laughs> they are two completely different games. What's the airspeed of an unladen swallow? Uh, African or European? Okay, Shadowfall. You actually get to see some gameplay outside of Kerbin's SOI. This is Minmus. All these white lines are things that we already have in orbit of it. And we're currently working on getting this ship in orbit of it. So we're gonna circle around like that. Maybe straighten out our orbit a little bit. We'll have to get it a little more straight when we get there. And that'd be 57 by 47. I don't wanna do that. I'd rather have 50 by 50 or close to it. Fifty by forty-nine. All right, that works. Is that seven days out? And what this is going to do is this is going to provide fuel for ships that we send out into orbit. We're doing what's called a fifty-ton challenge. Nothing that we launch from Kerbal can be fifty tons, or can be more than fifty tons. So we ha we're gonna have to send a lot of ships that are either low or no fuel, and they're gonna have to come here to dock and refuel. So this is gonna be set up. We're gonna get miners sent out here to actually provide ore, and then this IRS ISRU is gonna run and refuel everything. So our first step is to put fill all these tanks up, or at least most of them, that way we can start facilitating ships. Whoa, Big Poppy, that's cool. Have you been watching EJ? EJ underscore SA? I'm sending miners to provide you ore. I am. And they're working for free. Oh, I got you. I, I've I've known him for like six years or so. Re-enable the other nukes? I don't want to. Well, I guess I do for the faster burn there, huh? Once we get once we start fine-tuning some more, I'm gonna change it back. Hister, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the three months. I appreciate you being here. Hope you're doing well. I, I've known EJ for like six or more years. And I'm a moderator for his chat. And I play Kerbal when he does not. So you'll find me here when he's not playing. <laughs> big, big Poppy, he... So the way I differentiate myself from him, he is a space streamer who plays Kerbal. He's all about space. I am just a streamer who happens to play Kerbal. So like when it comes to those kind of techniques, I, I know nothing. I'm dumb and I'm okay being dumb. And if anybody has a question about stuff like that, you either go to him or someone who knows what they're talking about. <laughs> but if you want to know how to orbitally rendezvous in Kerbal without all the technical stuff, I got you. You want to know how to land on the Mun? I got you. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you about how or why or when, but I'll get you I'll get you where you need to go. I promise. I know the relation between TWR and delta V. I know what TWR stands for. I know what delta V means. I don't know the calculation for delta V, but I know what goes into it. I'm I'm stupid. So I I let him do the technical stuff and I do I do the fun stuff like this. He's he's a madman though. He's he's a cool person. Hister, how's your weekend coming along, buddy? No, oh, I got you, Big Poppy. So then, yeah, you're you're smarter than I am too. I'm just not a space engineer. Ne neither is he, Mr. Dabbins. <laughs> EJ's not a space engineer either, but he knows he can he can hang with the rest of them. That's for sure. Has anyone ever done Starlink? I, I, I'm sure people have. It's really not that difficult to do. The really hard part to do in the base game of Kerbal is, is landing a first stage after you've launched it. 
And EJ has maybe like a 30% success rate doing that, and he's been trying it for years. So unless you're just really stupid good at the game, uh, re landing that's the hard part. But uh, but putting satellites into orbit, that's not really difficult to do, Cameron. Now, getting them all to the correct, you know, eccentricity and everything is going to be difficult. Yeah, Big Pompey, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how long you've been following his channel, but uh, good luck. <laughs> I, I hope he gets it to work. Not that long? Yeah. He's got 15... Thousand hours in Kerbal. You want automation mods for auto landing certain things that are not human flyable. That's that's why I specified in the base game, Xanath. I I understand that, but that's not. I I know you can mod the game to do things, but that's why I said in the base game. And yeah, Shadowfall. He he lives there. He he lives on Kerbal. So yeah, you think EJ talks too much? Several hours in, he's only shifted a few pieces around. And, well, that's so. That's what's his. That's what his stream has become. He used to not do that. He used to be all about building and all about flying stuff. And granted, he does stream two hundred and fifty to three hundred hours a month. So if he spent that entire time playing a game. You know, uh, obviously, you know, th things would get done, would not get done, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I think he's just tired of playing Kerbal at this point. He he says he's not, but I would, I, I, I'd be tired after 15,000 hours. That's for sure. But that's what his community's come down to, man. The people have been there for 10 years, dude. And they, they just shoot the shit, you know? They show up, they just talk and... That's why he races with them. You know, he's he just got a group of friends now that hang out with him. It's like meeting up with an old buddy and just and just talking. That's that's what his stream has become. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. But a lot of newer people that are coming into the stream, they want to see gameplay. And he spends he spends about 90% of his time in the VAB. He he likes to live in the VAB. Pretty hardcore. Yeah, Big Pompey, 100%. I, I learned what I know from Kerbal from him to get started, and then I self-taught myself a lot of the rest of it. And there's a lot of it I still get wrong. I'm trying to get myself into a 50,000 by 50,000 orbit. I don't know if I want to go 50,000 or 100, but I'm getting my... I'm getting myself kind of like in a nice flat orbit. That way we can send miners and stuff down to refuel. I I, I don't think 50,000 is the, the, the play. I think I want to go half million. I think half million is what I want to go. I think we're going to do that instead. Good thing I got the Delta V for all this stuff. But yeah, this is, this is the mining ship. Uh, solar power, radiators, ore tanks for storage. And then we got to make miners that are capable... And we're doing a 50 ton challenge, so the miners are going to be tricky. We'll figure it out. Hi, PK Luffy. Welcome in, bud. How are you? Happy Sunday, bud. Hope you're doing well. How are we tonight? I'm doing all right, dude. Trying to get this thing uh, in position. That way we can start building miners and getting the fueling going for this. I'm doing fantastic, man. Any day I get to stream is always a good day. You know that. I'm, I'm, I'm scared, PK. I'm scared because I'm going to be taking a day off this coming up Wednesday. Oh, that's, that's me, Big Poppy. So I've... I've beaten, so, so like, this game is a sandbox, but you can put in your own victory conditions. I've completed a normal mode playthrough. I've completed a hard mode playthrough. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing a self-imposed challenge where nothing can launch more than 50 tons and 
and I got some things I want to build in there. Now, now I, I will be honest with you. This was not constructed in space. We were constructing it, but the game has two breaking bugs in it right now. The first bug is the docking port bug that everybody knows about if you've been playing Kerbal for the last year. The second one is when you put struts together in EVA, if the ships weren't part of the same structure, when you reload the, the scene, the struts go away. So I was having a hard time keeping our station from doing this and exploding every five minutes. So I asked chat permission and they told me that I could because it was, it was proof of concept that I could deliver all the parts to the station. We had, we had most of these parts put together already. They told me I can build it in the VAB and cheat it into space. And that's what I did. But I did put the onus on me to push it into Minmus's orbit. So, so we were building this, but then it kept blowing up. So I've, I've put it into orbit and now I'm toting it. But that was, it was really unfortunate. I, I was, however, taught a workaround for the strut bug. And we're going to be doing that for the space stations until they patch the game. Uh, but until then, we're just kind of here. I had to, I had to put this thing out in space. But we had, I had everything except for these two modules here done and these extra fuel tanks here. I had the rest of the ship put together already. How, how much of an ass pain is the workaround? So the workaround, as far as I understand it, is... Let's say... So this piece right here was the first piece I put into orbit. If this is going to be the first piece that you put up and you intend on adding to it, you have to have the, the struts on this ship when you launch it. Then when you pull the struts out of there and connect them, it considers it the same ship and doesn't remove them. That's the workaround. So in the future, when we're putting together our space stations, the first module is going to have a giant storage with about 100 struts in it. And it's going to go up and go into orbit. That way we can attach to it. But that's, that's the current workaround. I don't agree with that, but I don't also bug. I don't fix the bugs in this game. Yes, Big Poppy, 100%. Is it possible in Kerbal to create space stations that you can walk inside? Uh, you can... There are, there are storage bays, cargo bays, that you can open or you can put together and make like a tunnel. And you could take a Kerbal and walk them in there, but they're going to float around because it's space. Um, you're not going to have like anything like Subnautica where you have like computers and stuff and you can see the engine bay and whatnot. You're just going to walk through a, a cargo bay. But it won't be... Why is it flopping so much right now? Uh, probably because... I don't know. Probably because we have different varying amounts of fuel in these engines from when I had to rendezvous them in different parts of orbit and it's trying to balance those weights out. I bet if I put all the fuel in one tank, it would stop. Let me try that. Let me try that. Out. 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 Oops. Oh, look, it's the refueling bug. Hold on. I was supposed to get fixed a couple patches ago. Out. 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 Oh, no, bug again. Okay, hold on. Please hold. I have a bug infestation? No, it's not a bug infestation. It's Kerbal Space Program. If you notice, a lot of the rocking has stopped. Let me do this one here now, too. Oh, crap. Come on. Mm, fuel out. Oh, come on. What's going on now? 
Hold on. I'll be back. Try turning SAS on then on. Usually helps stabilize. Nah, I just gotta get all the fuel moved in. Just EVA, EVA activities in third person, right? What do you mean? Yeah, you can't first person anything. What if Kerbal 2 is just a bug-free Kerbal 1? Uh, it's not going to be because the same people worked on 1 are working on 2. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Where is our station? There it is. You didn't click in on the other tank. I didn't. I clicked out on the 1. Give me something to do, and that should work. I don't have to do out and in. All I got to do is click out. See? I don't have to do both. I just have to do one or the other. I guess I could try clicking in in the future. All right, there we go. See, we're good. It was just a fuel imbalance. It was trying to keep it simple. Fuel transfer does seem iffy. It does, Anth. It does. Shocker. Okay, let's get this thing out in orbit. Uh, boom. Is this 1.12? It's 1.12.1. .1. I don't. I don't play any mods. I play on the latest patch. They don't think it'd be like that, but it do. Yep. Enable cross feed. The, that doesn't matter, Mac B. Everything's enabled. All the cross, I don't, I don't disable crossfeed, and crossfeed is enabled by default. They're all, they're all set by default. All right, let's go. Three, two, one, zero. The goal is, is almost a five hundred thousand orbit. We had our last refueling station in our hard mode save set to a 500,000. <laughs> and I don't know if that's supposed to be good news or <laughs> if that's just a shrug, you know what I mean? It does fix itself after a few times. Nope, go back. Crap. Go here. Turn this down. Go this way. Five o five hundred by five o two. Yes, I'm being pedantic. I want to get this thing right on, so we're gonna go ten and ten. Seven seconds. Perfect. There's a there's a workaround basically. I, I'm fine, Anth. Hi, Evie. Welcome back. I was talking to you earlier, and you weren't here. So just know that I was thinking about you while you were gone. What was I saying? I, I don't know. It was good, though. But I forgot what I said. I don't have the start burn in timer on the maneuver node. Is that a probe feature, or do I have to upgrade something? Uh, It's in your settings. I'll, I'll show you where it's at. I'll show you where it's at. It works pretty well 95% of the time. If you're using ions or nukes and you have a really, really long burn, it doesn't do a good job with it. All right, if you go into your settings, it is the button that says, right here, extended burn indicator. Extend, so if I turn it off and, and and go back into here, here. If I do that and then make a maneuver, 